you look at that film, all you can think of is what was about to happen. It takes on a power that is almost inconceivable because you can look at the buildings and know with certainty that almost all disappeared. You can look at the people on the street and wonder who survived. You're watching a shade fall over an era. This is Market Street after the quake and fire. Among the buildings destroyed, the offices of the Miles Brothers. Their film of San Francisco in happier days barely survived. They'd shipped it to New York by train just the night before the quake. Knowing that it was our relatives that did that, we were very proud. Scott Miles and his uncle Dwayne are descendants of Earl Miles, the man who supervised the filming. They have one of his cameras and a family album of still pictures the Miles brothers took of the damage and the city's refugees. But they never knew the Miles brothers made the Market Street film until David Keene uncovered the story. David Keene just produced so much wonderful information for us, and uh, we're astounded. What is it uh, about uh, the trip down Market Street? Why do you think people are so moved by it? I just see the people there, and they don't know what's about to hit them. And, and you can't help but feel for them. Yeah, it's just how vulnerable we are. As for the man who figured it all out, he was armed only with a computer, the internet, and an incurable curiosity. Here's some film that we found up in the projection booth. In the Keen understands camp. well the strange power of images from the past. In the California town of Niles, a throwback itself to a gentler age, Keene runs a theater devoted to silent films. Charlie Chaplin himself made movies in Niles and watched them in this very room, where this night, the film to which David Keene gave new meaning, A Trip Through Market Street, is the star attraction. That's the beauty of film. It captures something that nobody today has seen anymore. It makes a connection. The young and old, they still react with amazement to it. And 30 miles across San Francisco Bay, the ferry building still welcomes travelers. And Marcus Street, a century later, rolls on and on. <laughs>